Marjik Mar, Mar I can never say this name. The first one. everyone it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with a little haul from a couple of publishers I was sent a couple books from Raincoast Books as well as Simon & Schuster so without further ado let us get started so I'll start with the ones from Simon & Schuster first just because they're on top of the pile so the first book that they sent me I'm actually really excited about I think it sounds really cool it's White Ivy by Susie Yang this book follows a Chinese immigrant named Ivy who grew up in a low-income complex with her grandmother and mother she develops a crush on a senator's son named Gideon Spire and she knows that her way of life isn't exactly the same as what he lives so she ends up turning to her grandmother in order to learn a little bit more about how to be more affluent in society and then years later she runs into Gideon's sister and she thinks that this is fate and she begins dating Gideon but then a man from her past steps back into her life and it starts a little love triangle so Avi needs to decide whether she's going to stay with Gideon and keep everything that she's worked for or go out with this other man and I guess lose everything and it's like the story of that. It says that it's a coming of age story and it explores class and race and identity. It's a page turner that will appeal to readers of The Luckiest Girl Alive and Reconstructing Amelia. And if you were on my channel like in the very beginning back in like 2015, you know that Reconstructing Amelia is like one of my favorite books. It's by Kimberly McRae but I loved that book and it was kind of what got me into booktube because I wanted to talk about it with people. So I'm just really intrigued because of that. And the next book I have is The Times I Knew I Was Gay by Eleanor Cruz and this is a graphic memoir about Eleanor Cruz and her journey of being gay and coming to terms with herself and you know the denial that comes with that and then the self-acceptance and I think it's going to be like a really fun book. I think that it'll probably help a lot of people who are questioning and I'm just like here for it and I think that it's going to go by super fast because it's like literally just a picture on a page with like one or two thought bubbles so gonna fly through this and hopefully I really enjoy it. The next book Simon & Schuster sent me is called Shine by Jessica Jung. This is a novel about a girl named Rachel who gets signed by a k-pop label in Seoul. She starts falling for a boy who's in another k-pop group but they're not allowed to date because it's like forbidden in her contract but you know they're going to do it in secret I guess. But it's kind of interesting because it's written by Jessica Jung, who is part of a K-pop group called Girls' Generation, which is a huge group that started in 2007 in the K-pop world. So it's kind of interesting because you're probably going to get a lot of insight from like what actually goes on in those record labels and stuff, even though like it's fiction. She probably definitely knows what she's talking about, so I'm actually really interested to see what she writes about and like the parallels to her real life and this fictional life that she created so I'm very intrigued. And then the last book that Simon & Schuster sent me was Anxious People by Frederick Bachman and I'm actually really excited about this because Allie from Hardback Hoarders and Julie from Pages and Pens really loves this author so I haven't read any of his work. I have no idea how I'm gonna vibe with it but I definitely want to see if I'm on the loving Frederick Bachman <laughs> train or the not loving Frederick Bachman train but all I really know about this book is that it follows a crime that was never committed and eight strangers who are at this open house and a robber comes in and holds everybody hostage and then like secrets start coming out about each person in this open house and it's like the story of that. I think it will be a lot of fun so I'm intrigued and, and then the next three books are from Rankos Books. The first one is Even If We Break by Marike Nijkamp and I read Before I Let Go by this author and I didn't really enjoy it but I think that this one sounds really cool. It's another thriller. She writes a lot of thrillers but the like tagline is five friends go to a cabin, four of them are hiding secrets, three years of history bind them, two are doomed from the start, one person wants it to end, no one is safe, are you ready to play? And I think it sounds really interesting. I know the final cover is really cool. I'll insert a picture of it. It's like these four masks and it just like looks like really creepy and I'm like super excited to pick it up. Hopefully I like this more than before I let go. I think I gave that one a 2 or a 2.5. I just find it kind of slow 
but hopefully this one's not slow. We'll see though. Next one I'm very excited about. I think it sounds really good. It is called Under Shifting Stars and this is by Alexandra Latos. It follows twins Audrey and Claire whose brother Adam recently passed away. They used to be inseparable but now they're kind of drifting apart because they're very different from each other. Audrey goes to an alternative program but she wants to return to public school to be with Claire. When she arrives she realizes that Claire's popular status is deteriorating at the school because of her grief from losing Adam. She's also beginning to question her gender fluidity. Claire is also developing feelings for a, another non-binary classmate named Taylor and it's basically the story of these twins learning about each other again and deciding whether or not they're too different from each other now to be as close as they used to be or realizing that they need each other more than ever and it's like the story of that but I just think that it's gonna be really good I'm very excited and intrigued to pick it up so. and then the final book that Rain Coast book sent me was a fable by Adrian Young the synopsis of this book makes it sound like pirates but the back of the book makes it sound pretty cool it says welcome to a world made dangerous by the sea and by those who wish to profit from it where a young girl must find her place in her family while trying to survive in a world built for men fable takes you on a spectacular journey filled with romance intrigue and adventure so like I said the synopsis on Goodreads if you want to look at it makes it sound like pirates but I don't think it's pirates but I really hope it is pirates all right everybody so that was my little haul from Simon Schuster and Rankos books thank you so much to both of those publishers for sending me these books I cannot wait to pick them up all of the books but shine and the times I knew I was gay are releasing September 2020 but those two are releasing October 2020 so hopefully you guys can check them out and let me know what you think of them down below and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!